What's up with Buddy? Man, I don't know, bro. Every time we be around this nigga, he always arguing with a female. Man, hell nah, because the other day, bro, him and the little female had got into it, you feel me? And he had like he want to fight her. For real? Man, look like he finna raise his hand up to her. Well, did she put her hands on him? Nah, she was just talking shit, folks. You know how that shit go. Man, that crazy as hell, boy. Turn a little more light on. Oh, now. Nah. Hey, y'all already know what time it is. Say, check me out, man. Before I start my video, bro, y'all already know what to do, man. Hit that like and hit that subscribe button. And when you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell notification on. So anytime I drop a video, you be notified. Hey, Sarah, Rocky, you can hop on. We can kick it and we can vibe. First thing, first of all, I start my video, you feel me? Uh, I want to give a shout out to my goddaughter, you feel me? Uh, Jesslyn, she just went out to college. And uh, so this is a new adventure starting for her. Um, also, too, man, y'all know I've been on the road. If not, I'm late, y'all know I've been on the road. And uh, it's just kind of been a little hectic. Tonight was a good night for me to drop a video. You know what I'm saying? Y'all heard my food just coming out the microwave. I might want to put some more time on it. But anyway, that was just a little quick update, man. Shout out to Jesslyn. Jesslyn, if you watch this, man, you know what I'm saying? Your next four years is going to be great. You know what I'm saying? And shit. It's time to grind. So one day I'm cooling, you feel me? I was in school with this dude right now. The dude, he was low-key lame. Fuck low-key. He was really lame. Like, he was one of them type of dude where, like, you would see him and you would want to smack the shot of him just because of who he is, you feel me? And, like, at first, like, a nigga really ain't even think nothing of it because when he was a little younger, he played football, right? So I want to say, like, his sixth grade, he had played football. His seventh grade, he had played football. And then his eighth grade, he had played football. But when he got to high school, he didn't play football, right? Now, usually when you be in class with somebody, you know what I'm saying, females tend to want to do extra shit. And then as soon as you do something, then they bust shut the fuck up. You do too much talking. You this, you that. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, because I already see what type of time this motherfucker is. Ain't no little nigga, uh, get my nigga finish the video type shit. Put my food right there. So, he was one of them type of dudes, right? Well, come walk over here. To, uh, he liked to argue with the females, right? So, the first time I seen this shit. So, the first time I seen this shit, it blew my mind. Because we in Claire, right? And the female had told him to shut the fuck up. Now, when she tell him to shut the fuck up, in my mind, I'm thinking off the rip. I'm like, ah, here we go. She over here tripping again, you feel me? It wasn't what she did. It's what he did, right? So he like, I don't know who the fuck you talking to, but you don't, you, you better stop talking to me like that. So I'm like, okay, you feel me? If I come, that's that sriracha. Man, if y'all know nothing about sriracha, man, my old lady, boy, she love me, boy. She be packing me up, you know what I'm saying, food and shit, right? So I'm like, okay, yo, yo tell you shit, okay. He letting her know. Don't talk to him like that, right? And then, like, it just seemed like, it just seemed like she just kind of went left. Like, you know when you see two females arguing, you be like, oh, okay, like two females arguing. That's what it was like. It was like two females was arguing in the classroom. And after a while, I'm sitting there thinking to myself, like, all right, bro, like, enough is enough, my nigga. Chill, like, fuck you arguing with a female for they ain't even your old lady. You feel me? But, you know, that's none of my business. That's none of my business. So, I'm just like, fuck it, deal with it, right? After a while, he gets the reputation of this is what he do all the time. Anytime some shit popping off, he always arguing with a female, right? Anytime he 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 want to drop his little nuts, he gonna argue with this female. One day we was in we was in in like the bell rung, everybody came off. He said something to a dude, and so old boy was like, "You better shut the fuck up, I smash your head right here in front of everybody." You feel me? You always be arguing with the female, but you won't argue with no nigga though. You won't argue with no nigga though. He's like, "Man, I ain't even got time for that, bro. I'm finna go to class," and he walked off. So when he walked off, we all looking at him like, no, you can't do that. See, that was your only time for you to really drop your mess and let everybody know, like, just don't play with you, period. You feel me? So, motherfucker like, motherfucker like, no, he he, he gonna let Kim Fo just do that to him? Like, that crazy because you ain't, you ain't say nothing to him, but when it's the female, you be getting mad at him. 
You be nah, you can't do that, right? So mother jolting off him, you feel mother jolting off him, right? So when it's the dudes jolting off him, he let it be. He let it just. You gotta think. You know what I'm saying? We be in gym. Everything nigga just nigga just on this nigga top. You feel me? But he only like speak up to motherfucker. He know he could whoop. He would never say nothing to like no average ass dude. Even if that nigga ain't had no hands like that. You feel me? Like some average ass dude. He no gonna yeah bark back at him. He not gonna do that, right? So boom, be like. I don't think folk was in magnet classes, but he was damn near in the magnet class. He was real smart. He was a black dude, right? So, so one day, bit he was running his mouth a little too much, right? And he was arguing with a dude, old lady. You feel what I'm saying? So, we get the football practice, right? And coach called bull in the ring. Now, bull in the ring is like you get in this big ass circle and then coach calls somebody out there to get in the middle and you got to keep your head on the swivel because when he call out numbers 42, 26, 7 niggas is running at you and you got to like, you know, nigga fuck you over, you feel me, if you don't be looking. Next thing you know, you turn the knee, <laughs> your arm be back in, she, <laughs> my own coach get back up, no, mm -mm. so they call him in the circle. Now, mind you, this a butt-ass dude. He was butt ass fuck, you feel me? Butt-ass nigga, you feel me? I'm talking about didn't get no PT at all. His, his uniform was always clean, you feel me? So, they call him in the middle, right? He acting like he really about that life. So, the dude who old lady, he was arguing with, before coach called anything out, he said, I got him, coach. He said, go. Bird, boom, blew the whistle, ran off at him. Dude, cleaned this shit up, you feel me? So, when he cleaned this shit up, he was like, let me go again, coach. Let me go again, coach. Go like, nah, 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 just chill, just chill. Now, one thing about him was, when it came down to the football, like, he did, like, he held his own, you feel me? I think old boy hit him two times, you feel me, throughout that whole little scene. I think he just ran out there one time and just hit his ass for no fucking reason. So, we knowing that he puss. We get back to the locker room. Oh boy, like, nah, what was all this you were talking to my old lady about? What was all this you were talking about? Oh boy, still had to take his shit off. He was like, man, bro, I'm telling you right now, bro, all that shit right there, we get for bro. I ain't finna go sit back and forth and argue with no dude. We looking like, bro, as you see, you gonna sit up here and tell us you ain't got time to argue with no dude. But yeah, you argue with females all day. Right, so he like, man, I ain't got time to be doing none of that. Stuck that man. Listen to me, bro. That man was doing all that talking. I knew it was serious because did what folk did. He was standing there, and shit. He was standing there, and shit. He did this the magic. He was standing there. He said, he bit that lip. He said, and stuck him. Bam. When he stuck him, oh boy, just he he turned around. He, all right, bro. All right, bro. And he took all this shit off, put everything on, and dip. Now, I want you to understand something. When, when motherfuckers see something like that happen to you, please don't think that we gonna let shit like that slide. Because we don't. I don't give a fuck what race you is. All right, put my food back in the microwave. Look cold. When... When you let somebody steal off on you like that and you don't do nothing, people are not going to forget. Understand, I know because it happened to me. It happened to me when I was about sixth grade, boy. When they, when they were bullying the nigga and shit, it happened to me, folks. So, boom, bitch. We politicking now, right? We politicking now. Now, now. Everybody who's seen it, and even the dudes who heard it, now it's on some shit like, we finna run him for his money. We finna run him for, for whatever he got. You feel me? His lunch food. Uh, uh, then they go to the concession stand. We running that. Or he gonna, or he gonna, he gonna pay. I mean, he gonna, he gonna get me something from the concession stand. You feel me? Whatever he got. It, yeah. We finna make this nigga do our schoolwork. Everything, right? So niggas is on his head, meat though bad, you feel me? And to the point where like, like he he quiet now, like he quiet, but he's still arguing with these females. So boom, motherfucker really, motherfucker really on the top. 
he go back door and go tell the principal. First he went and told his mama. His mama came up to the school. Then he then his mama told the principal. Alright. So then the principal came and made like this, like this big, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, uh announcement and was like, anybody put their hands on him again, you're getting expelled. So off the rip, everybody already knowing. Oh, you snitched. Oh, you said, get what? They still pressing him. Man, bro, I ain't snitch, bro. I ain't, I ain't say nothing, bro. I ain't, I ain't tell they do nothing, bro. I ain't tell they do nothing. Well, how the fuck he know then, bro? Well, how the fuck, man, I don't know, bro. Man, get your hands up off me, bro. Get your hands up off me, bro. Oh, nah, don't get tough now, nigga. Don't do that, you feel me? So, boom. All that shit popping up, right? So, muffler like, muffler like, man, leave that, that nigga alone, you feel me? That nigga, you feel me? Police anyway, police that nigga, police that nigga. They still call him police that nigga, right? So, boom. He, he now a super lame. Ooh, that shit hot. He now a super lame man, nigga. And mother ain't fucking with him off the strength of what you do. Right? So boom, some time passed by, right? Some time then passed by and he get into it with another female over something so small, so petty. Old girl was like, you better chill before I slap shit at you. And then he like, she, you ain't gonna slap me. And she was like, bet. Now once she said bet, I already knew where this was gonna go. But at the same time, we didn't know where this was gonna go. So the class bell ring. Motherfucker, get up out of class. I'm about to book it to my next class, go see my little yeah, do whatever I need to do. Next thing you know, she slapped that nigga, folk. Found. And next thing you know, the hands start throwing. So they 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 fighting. They like real deal fighting in front of everybody, right? Mind you. The school was not that damn big. So, everybody who know that the dude was getting pressed by the dudes, females, er everybody who knew, it was like, he fighting a female folk, but he wouldn't fight a boy who stuck him in the jaw. He wouldn't stuck up for himself when shit got real. You feel me? Now a female called you out and said something, she slapped you in the face, and you started throwing hands with her. That really diminished his reputation, okay? So all that happened, boom, be like, all right, but what up? We get to high school. We get to high school, the nigga changed, all right? He's, he's stupid quiet now. He don't play no sports, you know, academic ad nigga, you feel me? Which is good to be smart, but see, if you smart, you got you to gotta have book smarts and street smarts. Okay, that don't mean you got to be in the streets, though, folk. See what I'm saying? I'm going to break this down for y'all, right? It's good to have book smarts and street smarts because even though you might not be in the streets, you can still get yourself caught up in a situation and you don't know it because you green, folk, because you ain't got no street smarts. See what I'm saying? See, when you in school and you want to be a dummy, that's when you need to have book smart. But when your ass go out that school into the real world, and you ain't got no street smarts, and somebody get over you on something so damn simple, you green. Greener than a pool table, folk. You feel me? I'm talking about, listen to me, on all six sides of that motherfucker, <laughs> you're done. So, we get to high school, he quiet, he don't do no talking. You know, the little motherfuckers he talk to is in his caliber of people. You feel me? So nobody really like looking at him though. But mind you, what happens from one scale jumps to the next. So whatever happened in middle school jumps to high school, okay? We get to high school and everybody like, oh, that's that dude who be fighting females, huh? Like, yeah, that nigga, that you feel me? You bitch, that nigga, whatever, you feel me? <laughs> Fast forward in life, though, 
Before that, I think he was in ROTC. All right, now, if you don't know what JROTC is, I don't know what the abbreviation for JROTC is. Junior JROTC. Cadet Training Junior R-O. Junior something officer. Cadet Training. Hey, get in my comment section. If you know what JROTC is, get in my comment section. Let me know. Because I don't know. I wasn't in it. Okay. Those were the pickle suits. We used to call them pickle suits. I don't know what y'all called them at your school when you were growing up. But we called them the pickle suits. Okay. He got in the pickle suits. Now, mind you, when he gets in with the pickle suits, you got to understand that they stick together. Now, you even had some street dudes who was in ROTC, okay? And with him blending in with that, it made him more acceptable because he was a part of something that nobody messed with. Like, we would pick on ROTC people, like, oh, pickle suit, and they woo -woo. but then nobody messed with them because you knew one thing. You fuck with one of them, all of them finna come whoop your ass. It's just the same thing with the football team, the basketball team, the soccer team, the baseball team, the girls softball team, whatever it was. If you was a part of something, understand, you fuck with one of them, all of them finna come whoop your ass. So we knew that. But at the same time, we all had our own thing going on. Nigga wasn't tripping off of nothing, you feel me? And our mind, we think like, yeah, he's going to go to the army. You know what I'm saying? With a whoop. Now, this dude never had no type of power. He never had no type of authority. Whatever he had said, niggas looked at him and be like, man, shit, if I slap shot you. You feel what I'm saying? So, he gets older. And I don't know what happened to him, right? So one day I met this dude I used to kick it with the house. Boom, I went in and bought a little sack from him. And me and BM sitting in the car. And I'm like, bust that Rillo down for me. I'm finna bust his weed down, you feel me? And then I'm finna roll up and then we finna blow down and we finna head to the crib. So I get this knock on my window and I see a flashlight. So I'm like, oh, shit, that lawman, right? So boom, I, I, I took it to the side. I'm like, what's up? I'm like, what, I'm like, what's up? So I roll down my window. When I roll down my window, I look up. It's him. It's, it's, it's the woman hitter, <laughs> the nigga who only fight females, okay? So I looked, I said, boy, is that you? He was like, Keon, that, that's you, Keon? He called me by my real name. Man, what the fuck you doing over here? Yeah, you know, I seen you was in that house over there, and, uh, you know, he be on the investigation sometimes and everything, and, you know, I'm, I'm law enforcement. At this time, he was security for that apartment. So I was like, boy, I thought you was a real fucking police officer. Rolled up my window, continued rolling up right in front of his fucking face, blew that bit and peeled out, right? So, boom, man, I'm like, I hit Kim I'm like, hey, say, bitch, uh, you know, such and such had knocked on my window. You feel me? He was like, oh, boy, yeah, you know he a cop. I said, what? He said, yeah, he a cop. He be, he be like, securing, like, he be like the security over here. Like, he be patrolling the area and whatever. But, now nah, he a cop. I said, oh, I thought that nigga was a security guard, fool. He's like, nah, he, nah, he a cop, fool. I'm like, what the fuck? He became a cop. He's like, shit, out the high school. What? Oh, it makes sense because with him being a cop, he got authority. With him being a cop, he could tell you what to do. <laughs> all them dudes who picked on him at middle school, high school, oh, y'all finna get it, right? I knew... That sometimes when you give a person like that power, they take it and they run with it. The famous saying is, you give a person an inch and they go fucking take them out. Like, motherfucker, I gave you an inch. What you doing taking them out? He took eight miles and I ain't talking Eminem. That motherfucker took eight miles that way to Detroit and I ain't talking Eminem. They say this dude will go and harass people. Okay. He will beat the dog shit out of you. Okay. 
and make it seem like it was your fault. So what happened? Motherfuckers got to talk it right. Him and a whole bunch of other people end up getting suspended or kicked off the force or removed or whatever the case may be for him abusing his authority. So then they put him in the jail <laughs> as a CO. And the, and and see, y'all got counties where y'all was. We it's it's not Paris jail. It's CCC, because it's CCC, then you got the Paris jail in the city. The same dude who house I went over to get the gas from end up being in jail, okay? He gets out. He telling me, say, folk, you know, such and such is in that bitch, huh? I said, well, yeah. He said, yeah, he was CEO. I said, what? For what? And all that shit that happened, folk. And all that shit you seen on Facebook, all that? Yeah, they they put him in that bitch. I'm like, nah. He said, he said man, hell, boy, hell, boy. I said, what you mean? He said, I ain't gonna hold you like the little motherfucker that got buff. The little motherfucker that got buff, he got strong, right? He said, man, he they used to do dirty ass shit like they'll take a motherfucker out, you'll be handcuffed, and they'll just punch on you, bro. Breaking niggas' jaws and shit, and breaking niggas' nose and shit, and they doing all fucked up type shit, you feel me? Spray it down, put you in the cell, and won't give you nothing, you burning and shit. Still got the handcuffs on you in that bed. I'm talking about they do you dirty, coming there and punch you down. I say, folk, we're doing that. I said, man, that nigga that dirty, boy. I said, no. The dude used to beat on women. Oh, boy, that used to be punching out on the female. Man, yeah, boy. That nigga, hell, boy. I said, damn. You give him an inch, he take eight miles, huh? He said, boy, you stupid. I said, nah, I'm serious, though. Folk like, that crazy. He said, nah, he did crazy. That dude ended up getting back. On the police force, the same dude who was abusing his authority, folks. Like, I sat back and I thought to myself, it be people like that right there. <coughs> it be people like that right there that you can't trust. Because growing up, that same guy, nobody respected him. Women didn't respect him. Men didn't respect him. He never fought dudes. He just fought women. And if he did fight a dude, he fought somebody he knew he could, you know, push over on. Then he gets older. And gets in position to uh, if he tell you something and you don't apply to his commands, you can go to jail. How ironic is that? But he not the only one. It's a lot of people out here who really want shit in school. And they go be COs and be police officers. And they do you something dirty. This is where your street smarts need to kick in at. Because I'm not saying go out and do dumb shit. But if you is out here doing dumb shit, understand its consequences. To every action is a reaction. You see what I'm saying? Because that same dude you used to pick on back in the day in school could be the same dude who pulled you out the car and beat the dog shit out you with his partner while he said yelling gun, 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 beating the fuck out you. That same little dude you used to pick on in school, your act could get locked up. And that could be that same CO that's in your cell block who, who take your ass to the hole and starve you. Give your ass no trade, bit. How you in that bit looking like? How you in that bit looking like an Ethiopian, bit? Praying that you can get some food. See, not everything in life is a game. And I know when you're growing up, you feel as if, oh, this dude is this, this dude is that. Understand that some people could plot on you for years. And when the time comes, they'll strike just like a cobra. That dude. Nothing didn't necessarily got picked on, but he was picked on. 
and he waited for the perfect time. That man became a cop, put a little size on, and he remember all them dudes who did what they did because they were still in the city. So when he would pull them over, they'd be like, oh, that old bitch ass nigga, where, 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 where. So step out the car, man, I ain't got to do nothing. I said step out the car, man, I ain't got to do nothing. Guess what? You done. That's what he was waiting on. He knew you. He knew that we still didn't respect him. But get what he did, though. <laughs> Abuse his authority, man. For real, for real. I, I ain't seen that dude in so long, but I seen his Facebook. It was so many people who was on the Facebook saying, yeah, this dude, uh, he did this to me. Yeah, he did that to me. And a lot of females. It was a lot of females, too, folks. It were people who was talking about what he did in middle school and high school and what he doing now as a cop. The same people. You feel me? That's why when your street smarts kick in, understand that. That might have been somebody you fucked over back in the day. And you got to learn how to deal with these things, especially when you're doing certain things. See, I never really fuck with that dude. Ever. Like, nah, no. Man, what up, boy? No. No. But here's the craziest thing, though. I grew up with that dude from elementary all the way to high school. So when you little kids, you you peep game on people real early. I always knew he was like a bitch had nigga. You feel me? I just stayed away from him, folks. His true colors did show later on in life, didn't it? I'm just keeping the band, dog. Real quick, man, I'm not going to end my video. Let me just take a look back to my eyes. I know y'all been waiting on a video for a couple of days. Look real quick. So my wife made me um, steaks. These steaks right here with rice. I got it in both these bowls right here. I know, I know, six pieces of steak with a whole bunch of rice. I know. Don't be mad because I'm eating good and you eating a bologna sandwich, bitch. For real, for real. But, uh, I know y'all been waiting for a video, man. I've been hella busy. Um, right now, I'm out here thugging. And, I wanted to just get in the hotel because it's already late and um, just chill. But I told myself, I said, ma'am, got to make a video, you know what I'm saying? And uh, talk your shit while well, I'm making a video. And uh, this is what I to get on here, man, and just talk to y'all, man, and just give y'all, you know what I'm saying, some free game because low key, like, this is my job. You know what I'm saying? Like, I started this, and I'm going to finish it. Because one thing about me growing up was I always started something, but I never finished it. But this is something that I don't ever see myself quitting on, you know. And um, I always told you that your words are powerful. And just the other day, or whenever I had made the video, I said, never said no. As you can see, I didn't say I would never quit. I said that I don't see myself quitting, you know what I'm saying? So be careful these words too, man. Um, um, real quick, while I'm still doing this, I know a lot of people ain't hip to um, what's going on down south, right? And at first I was like, nah, I ain't going to say nothing about this. But it's just crazy what's going on on the internet right now with this uh, 50 Cent and Hurricane Chris um, beef or whatever. And you know, Hurricane Chris is older than I am. You feel me? So, but we went to the same high school. And, um, I heard what he said. I heard what 50 said. So, I'm going to just throw in my little two cents, bro. I feel where they both coming from, but in different aspects. Because I grew up in Shreveport. Shit, like Hurricane Chris. And... When somebody comes to the city and 
is trying to make the city better after years of the city really being in turmoil. <clears throat> but don't involve nobody that's in the city. That's where the problem comes in. And I understand that from from Hurricane Park, right? Because what he was saying was, how come you come out here, book a show in the city, but don't bring nobody to perform from the city? You see what I'm saying? See, what Hurricane Chris is saying is, that's like if he went to New York and 50 was still in New York, and he brought people from around New York Right, and maybe like somewhere like, uh, like if they was in the Bronx, but he going to get people from all the way the fuck over here to perform, but not no legends in the Bronx, it'd be a problem. It it would be a problem anywhere the fuck you go. If somebody, if Boosie, not Boosie, because Boosie in Dallas they don't mix, if if a big name artist came and was like, you know what? I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Do the same thing with 50 doing the Shreveport to Dallas, even though Dallas is way bigger than Shreveport, right? I'm just using that as an example. And he and he book a concert and he trying to build Dallas back up. But he don't bring out no Mr. Pookie, Mr. Lucci. He don't bring out no, you know what I'm saying, uh, Big X, the plug. He don't bring out no, um, you know what I'm saying, like like legendary guys from Dallas, you know what I'm saying, who already did the game. I promise you, Dallas is not going to have that shit, man. They not. They going to look at it like, bro, you came over here and you trying to help us out, which is cool. But you didn't bring nobody to perform at the performance from Dallas. You went and got niggas from San Antonio, Houston, Port Arthur. But you didn't get not one person from Dallas. Okay, That's what happened. Now, I also understand where 50 coming from, too. Because 50 is a businessman. Okay. That's what he is. He's a businessman. 50 knew who to bring out there to make everybody in the city be like, that's where I want to go. All right? 50 when they got Fredo. Boy, hey, about little Fredo. You feel me? He's a Louisiana legend. Not a Shreveport legend. You see what I'm saying? So, you go get Fredo, you know the people coming. See what I'm He didn't want to got the baby. People come out. Right? All types of celebrities. Wallow and Gilly. Like, all, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Which was a power move. Big power move. Okay? I'm talking about, I'm talking about 50... 50 didn't fuck around and put his queen and the 50 and hurricane and fucked around and castled on the king side. You feel me? And this nigga 50 didn't fuck around and put his queen and his bishop on the on the queen side facing the king side at both angles. Pinning pinning the king with with the rook aiming right at that bit. You feel me? So I feel like in that situation, 50 years trying to help the city, and he's going to. Like, you know what I'm saying? But what I feel like Hurricane is saying that is people not necessarily looking at the moves. Because for one, Louisiana is cheap than the bitch. Louisiana, I tell y'all, is Louisiana and Mississippi are the two mo most poorest states. Land cheap than a bitch. Mortgage cheap than a bitch. Rental cheap than a bitch. You feel me? So, you mix daddy in with him coming from New York from where the fuck he was from. Now, I'm not saying 50 lived in New York, but understand that the taxes in New York is different than the taxes in Louisiana. 
So you take that mixed in with understanding the value that he brings to the city, which in 50 mind he's saying, well, shit, y'all ain't really got shit, so I might as well come out here and you feel me? Does Louisiana have shit? No. <laughs> I told y'all, when we was growing up, nigga, all we had was the skating ring and a boardwalk, but come on, bro. Nigga, the boardwalk in Bolger, that ain't street folk. You see what I'm saying? Crime rate higher than the bitch in, in Shreveport. So for 50 to come down here, bro, and do what he doing, nine times out of ten, in a couple years from now, they gonna fuck around and make that man the mayor. I'm telling you what I know. But he, it was smart for him to come to a city like Shreveport and try to do what he doing. But Hurricane don't like it because it's not necessarily putting money in Shreveport pockets. And when I mean Shreveport pockets, I mean the artists, the people who who built this from the ground up, bro. You know what I'm saying? We talking about like legendary guys that that people know, but not a lot of people know, right? Like why yellow? Like come on, like you feel me? Like why yellow, folk? So it would have been dope if Fifty would have brought a why yellow, a hurricane, uh. Uh, um, just Aunt Banks, like it was like those guys. You see what I'm saying? And just brought them to the forefront. And be like, all right, y'all do y'all thing. Y'all do y'all thing. That's just my take on it. At the end of the day. I feel like it's too many politicking going. It's 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 too much politicking going on for you to be like, oh, well, Hurricane need to go talk to Fifty and y'all can get it squashed out like that. Ooh, it's too much politicking going on right now for that. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I mean, shit, Hurricane from my city, folks. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I respect what that man's saying, bro. At the end of the day, bro, I respect what that man's saying. I respect what he coming from, bro. That ne Hurricane grew up where I grew up in the same type of poverty that I grew up 50 didn't, folk. Yeah, you grew up in New York and it was hard out there, bro, but New York ain't Shreveport, fam. So, I get where Hurricane coming from, but at the same time, not the way he did it. Not the way he did it. I don't I don't I don't condone in that folk. To the one a different way about it, you feel me? Cause sometimes, you know, the way we do certain things for it just make us look bad, bro. I know you standing on ten with it though. But at the same time, folk, like, nah. You can't go beefing with a nigga who got more money than you, folk. It don't work like that. And I ain't just saying, like, Hurricane, like, I ain't got no money, but nigga 50 got shows, nigga. This nigga got, this nigga 50 got some bread, folk. You know what I'm saying? Hurricane, you ain't got no shows, folk. You ain't got power. And I'm talking about the shows. <laughs> you, <laughs> you ain't got that, folks. So you can't go beefing with a nigga with bread, folks. It just, it just don't end well, my nigga. That shit does not end well, folk. So... And just my little take on that, man. I appreciate everybody who really rocking with the kid. Let me know when I ask for three things, man. Guidance, knowledge, and wisdom. And if it ain't that, man, I already know what time it is with me over here. Till next time. Or oh, now, like I always tell y'all, man, I appreciate y'all rocking with the kid. Appreciate y'all rocking with the videos, man. I'm finna eat my food, enjoy myself, take me a shower, talk to my old lady, and go lay it down. Get ready to do these pickups tomorrow and then head back to the crib. Well, Key, why you ain't tell us what, what where you at? Don't worry about all that, sweetheart. You don't need to know my exact location. You just need to know that. You feel me? I'm out making plays. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it on the bank. Make sure you make sure you always stay on your P's and Q's at all times. Make sure you keep your head on the swivel at all times. You feel me? And just like I told y'all, we're going to constantly apply pressure and keep our foot on their neck. And if they saying they can't breathe, bitch, we'll apply more pressure and get them up out of here. Just keeping it a beam, dog.